Okay, so in this video we'll learn how to make a billboard um, character here in, in uh, SketchUp. You can see I've already got one in there where this guy is, no matter where I go, he's following me. Uh, it's also called Face Me in SketchUp. So he's just facing the camera, basically, is what he's doing. But notice that you can see behind him that uh, you don't get to see all the black stuff on there. So that's called an alpha channel. And I've just created an alpha channel for this guy. This is a uh, demon imp in, uh, in the Doom level. So what we'll do is here in Photoshop, let me uh, start from the very beginning and get rid of this guy, is I went ahead and downloaded uh, a picture of this guy off the internet, the demon imp. And here's the guy I'm going to use. And you can see that there's other pieces that came over with him. So the first thing I'll do is I'm just going to crop him. And here's the crop tool in Photoshop. And I'll just take this and crop out as much as I can. And uh, I always leave just a little bit of black space there on the edges. Some people like to go right to the edges. But when I go ahead and choose all the black space to delete it, uh, it just makes it easier in Photoshop to choose it if all the black space is actually connected. So I do want to get try and get as close as I can, but just leave a little bit of the black space connected. Press Enter, and it crops it. Now, there's a little bit over here, and uh, I'll just paint that black and get rid of that. So I choose my paintbrush, and the black color is already there, so I'm just going to quickly paint over that. All right, so um, this will be the size of the image, and then I'm going to take my uh, Magic Wand tool right here, and that will just select all of the black stuff. I click here. It selects all the continuous black color. And then I just press delete. And that gets rid of the background, basically. And that makes it um, an alpha channel in, in the PNG. And then Control D will deselect it. And, uh, and this is what I'll do is I'll just save this. So then I can just simply go File, Save As. And uh, this is my uh, Doom Imp. Or uh, I already have a Doom Imp, so I'll call him my Demon Imp. How about that? And I'll just save him. All right, so that's my Demon Imp guy. Let's bring him into uh, let's bring him into here. Now, one way that I uh, the way that I made this, let's make another one over here, and uh, I'll just make it on the floor in here. So what I did was uh, I like to make him so that he was standing up there. In fact, let's go ahead and delete this guy. It'll probably just be a lot easier. So the surface I'm going to put it on, I made this into a component so it wouldn't stick to it. And uh, so this should be a component. There we can see it is. So I will just simply make a rectangle here and then push it up. And it doesn't have to be the perfect size. And uh, notice it's not billboarding or it's not doing a face me on it. And uh, I'll just leave it like that for the moment. And uh, I'll put the image on it. So I'm going to go File, Import. And then I'm going to import it as a texture. And there's Demon Imp right there. And notice that none of the black stuff shows up there because I deleted it. And so I'll just say Open. And I'll put it on just like we put the, um, the faces on the buildings. So I'll go to the corner, click. And then drag it up just to where he fits. And when he fits, I'm just going to click. And even if he goes over a little bit, that's OK, because I'm going to take my push-pull tool, and I'm just going to push that down to make it fit. So that looks really good so far. Now, I don't want it as a box in here, so I tap my space bar. And I'm going to get rid of all the other stuff that makes this a box, because I just really want the face there. So I'm just going to start deleting a few edges to get rid of some stuff. And uh, let's see. There we go. So now I just have this object right here. And I'd like to pull him off of this box a little bit. You can see he's actually sitting right on the box. I'd like to pull him off a little bit. So let's double click him and move tool. And then I'm just going to move him up on the blue axis a little bit. So now you can see he's off the box there. He's still not following us. In order to make him follow us, we actually have to turn him into a component. And there's an option in Components to make him do that. So while he's selected, uh, tap my space bar. And while he's selected, if you right click him and make a component, there's an option here to always face the camera. So I'll name him. This guy is my demon uh, imp. 
he's going to always face the camera and we'll set the axis. Notice right now that the axis is over here in the lo lower left hand corner and if I were to leave this alone the way it is what will happen is he's actually going to rotate around this axis and, we, and that would be awkward to have him rotating on that left hand side over here so we're going to set the component axis. I'll just click the button and it gives me the axis. I'm going to put it kind of right in the center of him, right between his legs there. Click and click again. And then so I click twice. That's the new axis that he will rotate around. And I will just simply click create. Boom. And now you can see wherever I move, I have a transparent demon imp guy who is going to follow me. And it doesn't matter that you can't see him from the back side because when he's facing us, wherever we go, you'll never see him from the back side. You will always see him from the front. So even if I go ahead and play my scene here, view, animation, play, and he'll play right through it, and he should follow us the whole way. We can see him a little bit. So probably when we uh, do the strafing up here, that's when we'll get to see him. Unless I put him up too tall. Okay, we didn't really get to see him much, but that's it. All right, so anyway, so that's how to make a, a character that billboards. You're welcome.